first world problem in our house and it is that our coffee maker isn't working. <laughs> I woke up and my husband always starts the coffee the night before and puts it on a timer and I woke up to a pot that was like a quarter full of coffee but there's no clog there's I mean the, the water's still full in the reservoir so off to McDonald's coffee I go and actually as upset as I was initially that our coffee was not readily available we are only like two seconds away from McDonald's which I never eat here but their coffee is probably the best option because there's no other coffee shop in town that's open prior to like 6 30 I think in town and there are only two um we don't have like the Starbucks or anything like that but we're only like two seconds away where before we moved to this house we were 15 minutes so I'm just gonna roll in here and get us some coffee and start this day also I don't know why I'm thinking about this right now at 5 30 in the morning but people always ask like how do you survive in a small town without you know Starbucks and Target and Costco and and we just do and it's awesome because everything's cheap so uh, I, don't get me wrong I'm still I still love our Target runs and all of those wonderful adventures that I take because it's uh, you know a little bit more of a drive for us but you can't be get two large freaking coffees for three dollars this morning so I am thankful and I think that it kind of forces us to just simplify so on that note, I'm gonna drink my coffee now. So I have to go back on what I said yesterday because yesterday morning, I believe I um, chatted with you guys on the way to McDonald's at about 5.30 in the morning because we had a broken coffee maker and I was too busy slash lazy to go out and get another one last night um, because that would have required a trip to the big, to the big city. So I roughed, we roughed it out again. And this morning we woke up and I went to one of our local coffee shops, which I typically love. The coffee was worse than McDonald's. I'm telling you, it was like black water to the point now where it's now been two and a half hours since I enjoyed, which I didn't, I actually ended up giving it to my husband and then he threw it out. Um, so I have a headache like that is, I don't know if like the brew was bad or I don't know. I, the ratio was bad. I have no idea, but now you find me in the drive through at Starbucks. So I have to go back on me saying that like, you just do without things because turns out some days you just don't do without, you just go to Starbucks and you get yourself a coffee and then I'm on my way to get a new coffee maker. Um, amongst some other things we're gonna we're still on the search for a Christmas tree we're trying to find a a tree that is an artificial tree but is not pre-lit because we have so many issues with pre-lit trees which we've had a few now but I like them to look super like realistic and pretty and kind of rustic and it's very hard to find one that's not pre-lit that looks like that so we are heading to Lowe's we've already hit up Hobby Lobby um, so we have to go to Lowe's. I have some other things to get there, like light switches and stuff for my husband. Okay. So basic college girl problem, but this is the first time I'm getting a Starbucks holiday cup and I, I kind of needed it to be red. I kind of need the Christmas cheer to come in the form of a cheery red Santa Claus suit color. So I'm going to need to work on this a little bit. Maybe, I mean, I guess that the, that's red. Ha! Huh, I don't know. I don't drink like any of the like fun foo-foo drinks. So when it comes to like getting a Christmas boost of holiday spirit, I was hoping for that typical red Starbucks cup that I only indulge in, you know, a couple times in the holiday season because we don't have a Starbucks, but that's okay. Starbucks. I mean, it's not a complete fail. You at least like hit one of the two main Christmas colors. So we did not have any luck really at Lowe's. We got the light switches that we needed and a paint scraper. But as far as, um, Christmas 
decorations go, we kind of missed the mark there. So we're now at Target. We're gonna pick up a coffee maker, hopefully. I'm gonna look at a camera and we are gonna check out some Christmas decor and maybe um, take a gander at some Christmas toys for Santa Claus. So this is a little bit overwhelming because there are a lot of options and we've actually been through a lot of coffee makers. We had the Keurigs for quite some time and we just drink so much coffee that it became like super wasteful and very expensive because we also like strong like good coffee uh, so we ended up selling that and getting a pot which I love but we've gone through a couple different pots and now there are like so many options like down to the basic you have ones that have like water next to them I mean what is this creates like it's a built-in frother um, and we had a really nice espresso machine when I had my shop. I had a another another story, but um, I don't I don't drink that stuff. So I really need just a coffee maker. Yeah, buddy. You want to get in the basket? Hold that thought. One, two, three. So I'm gonna look around and tell you what I come up with. We have just arrived at our first destination on this snowy, icy school cancellation day. And that Mommy. is every parent's Mommy. dilemma. Do we stay in the car? Mommy. I mean, pretty sure she's gonna wake up anyway because of this child. But do we stay in the car and let them rest? Or do we Mommy. wake her up? and see what the day brings. <laughs> we're gonna go for option two. Okay, great. That's too big. Is this too big? That's a little too big. We need something that's probably a seven foot tree. Is this? That says nine foot. So this little thing right here. Nine foot. That's a foot. Yep. Nine foot. Nine foot. Nine foot. Maybe the other side. Oh, this is four foot, four foot. Hey buddy, can you keep going straight? Find Charlotte. Uh, we did. Hey, you're you're wrecking us. We found the Christmas tree, and now where are we heading? To get hot chocolate. What? Hot chocolate time. It was um, relatively painless, I'll say, but we still have to get it loaded and into the car. So. Building. Mission accomplished! I'm pretty sure we've been searching for one of these for how long? A minute. A, a minute. We've been searching for this for a minute. I've taken multiple trips. I gave up on the unlit tree. I gave up on wanting the tree that we used to have. We did not. I don't feel like we settled. I feel like it's a beautiful tree and we FaceTimed daddy so he had the option between this and another one and he chose this one so now we are heading to get hot chocolate Woo! best school cancellation day ever and we are ahead of the game because thanksgiving is a week away so we are where we need to be that is really good mm -hmm. i don't think you enjoy it entered the weekend right yeah. So what are we doing tonight, guys? Christmas tree. Christmas tree? And pizza. And pizza. We are doing our pizza night, which consists of usually 
a pepperoni and cheese pizza for the kids. And oh, cheese pizza. only We're a cheese pizza for you. Charlotte likes pepperoni and cheese. And then we do a barbecue chicken with barbecue sauce. I saute some mushrooms, some onions. Let's make it super simple. We've got a rotisserie chicken and the essentials. So that's what we're doing. wobbly I don't know if it's just this, the new um, configuration of how they do the pre-lit trees but it is like the LED light source is in the center it's like in the the actual trunk what would be the trunk of the tree and each of the pieces the connector like the this is sounding so botched but it's super shallow so when we put it all together, it just didn't seem very stable. But I'm tired of looking for a tree, and I'm pretty sure that all the trees are like that now. So we are keeping it. It's also a little crooked, 
but I feel like that just adds to the character. It's a little quirky like us, and so it's cute. I have to be honest, I do not love it as much as our old tree. They did not have our old tree. This is a little slimmer, which I feel like is necessary for our space, but I should probably be doing this. But you can see the reflection right there, actually. But it still is not exactly what we were thinking. And to be honest, I will forever be a colored lights girl at heart because that's what we grew up with. But I could not find an unlit tree that looked like an authentic style Christmas tree. So we're going with it. And my husband really likes the white lit trees. So I feel like we've kind of taken that tradition on with our children. And I will just incorporate colored lights somewhere else. Um, normally we do like a bush. <laughs> so like we'll have completely white lights, like white lit home exterior, and then a random colored bush, which again, just adds to the flavor of our family. <laughs> But anyway, I'm happy with it. We just decorated it. The kids are now helping Chris do the garland that goes up the staircase, which our staircase is like a miniature staircase. Yeah, buddy. Close your eyes. You want me to close my eyes? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Got to hold my hands. Okay, don't let me trip. What, tell, tell everybody what we're One, doing. Two, three, open. Yes. Look, right here. Oh. <gasps> I love it. That is definitely a couple grades up from the other one that you hung. I like it. This is a little, I mean, this is a little full. You love it. <laughs> you really love it. But it looks good. So anyway, we're just going to wrap up, I think, decorating a little bit more tonight. Most of our stuff got peed on by raccoons and squirrels. So we kind of had to dump all of our Christmas decorations, which just means I get to go Christmas decor shopping, which I'm excited about because the stuff and like nothing really would go in our house now anyway. So I feel like we have a good solid grasp on it because it's now, it is before Thanksgiving. I have time to really think about how I want to decorate and we have to scale it back again because we don't have a lot of space. So, um, I will probably be doing a little bit of that this weekend. Um, we have, uh, some other things going on too. So I think we're just going to call it a night. It's, it is the end of a saga. We have a Christmas tree and it is up and I'm, I am happy. I'm even happier now that I get to see all of the kids stuff like all of our ornaments and such on the Christmas tree because I could not find the ornament box and I about had a heart attack because I mean, it's like all of their memories. And I also have a popped blood vessel, which I don't know if you can tell, but I messaged my friend who's my eye doctor today and she's like, I mean, you could have sneezed or coughed or pooped or something too hard. And then she said, worst case scenario, it's high blood pressure. So I immediately go to CVS to get my blood pressure checked. And it is a, it was like a little elevated. And I, she, she wanted to see the picture of the pot blood vessel. So I sent it to her and she's like, there's no, that is not, that does not equate to what a like high blood pressure. Those are typically larger than that tiny little blood vessel. But fun fact about me, I hate blood and I hate eyes. So having something bloody in my eye is like, even though I can't feel it, it's driving me nuts. So on that note, I think we're just Mom, gonna wrap it up for tonight. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Mommy, open your eyes. My eyes are open. You mean close them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, let's say goodbye to our our friends. Okay. Bye. Bye. No, I'm gonna do it. Oh, you're gonna do it. Okay. Can you?